In the world of Hollywood, only a few names are as synonymous with classic Western television as Jim Davis, best known for his role as the rugged patriarch Jock Ewing. On the hit series Dallas, Davis's on-screen persona embodied strength and authority. However, behind the tough character, there was a complex and private man whose life was filled with hidden struggles and personal tragedies. As fans watched him dominate the small screen, few knew about the secret battles he faced off-screen, leading to a tragic and untimely end. This is the untold story of Jim Davis, his secret life, and the heartbreak that marked his final days. Jim Davis, born Marlon Davis on August 26, 1909 in Edgerton, Missouri, came from humble beginnings that would shape his grounded, no-nonsense personality. Raised on a small farm in rural Missouri, Davis developed a strong work ethic early in life, which later translated into his acting career. His upbringing in the heartland of America gave him an authentic ruggedness that helped define his roles, especially as a tough Western character. Davis attended William Jewell College in Liberty, Missouri, where he pursued law before realizing that acting was his true calling. His education laid a foundation for his sharp intellect and ability to communicate, but the world of show business pulled him in another direction. Soon after college, Davis made his way to California, where he hoped to make a name for himself in Hollywood. In his early years, breaking into acting was far from easy. During the Great Depression, opportunities were limited. But Davis, driven by a strong sense of determination, supported himself through various odd jobs. Eventually, he began landing small roles in films in the early 1940s, often cast as military officers or cowboys, roles that highlighted his rugged good looks and commanding presence. Jim Davis's career spanned over four decades, making him a staple in both film and television. He was best known for his work in westerns, where his rugged persona and commanding presence found a natural home, but his path to success was far from straightforward. Davis's first foray into acting came in the early 1940s, shortly after moving to Hollywood. He started with uncredited roles, making appearances in films like The Lone Star Trail in 1943 and The Big Bonanza in 1944. These were typical B-grade westerns of the era, and Davis's roles were small, but he used them as stepping stones to refine his craft. His tall frame, square jaw, and authoritative demeanor made him a natural fit for military and cowboy roles. World War II saw a surge in patriotic films, and Davis found work in war-themed dramas and action films. In the 1952 movie The Big Sky, directed by the legendary Howard Hawks, Davis played a supporting role alongside Kirk Douglas. Though he wasn't the star, Working with top-tier directors and actors boosted his credibility in Hollywood. By the 1950s, television was beginning to dominate American entertainment, and Davis made the leap to the small screen, a move that would define much of his career. His breakthrough came with the Western series Stories of the Century, where he played railroad detective Matt Clark. The show ran from 1954 to 1955. This was the first television series to win an Emmy Award in the Western category, and Davis's portrayal of the no-nonsense lawman resonated with audiences. The role solidified his reputation as a stalwart in the Western genre, and it opened doors to more substantial television roles. Throughout the late 1950s and 1960s, Davis became a fixture on American television. He guest-starred in several hit series including Gunsmoke, The Rifleman, Bonanza, Wagon Train, and Rawhide. His ability to convey both toughness and sincerity made him a favorite for Western roles, where heroes needed a sense of moral authority. Davis often played characters who were either lawmen or outlaws, capturing both sides of the frontier's moral spectrum. Though Davis had enjoyed a steady career in Westerns, his most iconic role came late in his life when he was cast as Jock Ewing on the iconic TV series Dallas which ran from 1978 to 1981. This primetime soap opera revolved around the powerful and morally conflicted Ewing family, a Texas oil dynasty. Davis's portrayal of the patriarch was a masterclass in stoic leadership mixed with vulnerability. Jock Ewing was the backbone of the family, a former wildcatter who had built a vast empire through hard work and cunning, a role that seemed tailor-made for Davis whose real-life persona mirrored much of Jock's strong, determined nature. 
Dallas became a cultural phenomenon, with Davis's character playing a pivotal role in the show's success. His gravelly voice, stern demeanor, and occasional flashes of warmth made Jock Ewing both feared and respected, perfectly complementing the show's melodramatic tension. Even as the younger cast members like Larry Hagman stole much of the spotlight, Davis remained a fan favorite, anchoring the show with his seasoned presence. Jim Davis tragically passed away on April 26, 1981, at the age of 71, after a battle with multiple myeloma, a rare and aggressive form of cancer. Diagnosed in early 1980, Davis continued working on Dallas despite his declining health, a testament to his work ethic and commitment to his craft. Multiple myeloma affects the plasma cells, which are a type of white blood cell responsible for producing antibodies. Over time, the disease leads to weakened bones, frequent infections, and fatigue, symptoms that Davis fought through while filming his final episodes. His commitment to the role of Jock Ewing, even in the face of excruciating pain and the toll of chemotherapy, earned him respect from both his co-stars and fans. He frequently appeared on set despite suffering from the effects of the illness, hiding his discomfort behind the tough exterior he had perfected on screen. By late 1980, his condition had worsened significantly. As Dallas producers became aware of the severity of his illness, they began preparing for the possibility of writing his character out of the show. His final appearance aired in early 1981, where, due to the disease, he was visibly frail. Yet his performance remained powerful, embodying the strength of the Jock Ewing character to the very end. Following his death, the producers of Dallas made the decision not to recast the role of Jock Ewing out of respect for Davis's legacy. Instead, they honored both the character and the actor with a special storyline that mirrored real life. Jock Ewing died in a helicopter crash in South America, leaving the Ewing family devastated and marking the end of an era on the show. The emotional storyline resonated with fans who knew that, in many ways, they were saying goodbye to both Jock and Jim Davis at the same time. Davis's death left a profound impact on the entertainment industry. He was remembered as a true professional who brought authenticity and grit to every role he played, even while silently enduring the pain of terminal illness. The cast of Dallas, as well as his fans, mourned his loss, celebrating his contributions to television, particularly in the Western genre, and as the indomitable Jock Ewing. Jim Davis's dedication, both in his career and in his final battle with cancer, solidified his place as a beloved figure in Hollywood. His work ethic, coupled with the personal grace he demonstrated in his final days, left a lasting impression on those who knew him and watched his work. He left behind a legacy of perseverance, professionalism, and a body of work that earned him a place in television history. Though many of his earlier roles were forgotten by the time he found fame with Dallas, his consistent portrayal of tough, honorable men left an indelible mark on the Western genre. His journey from small-town Missouri to the heights of TV stardom is a testament to his resilience, and his final role as Jock Ewing ensured that his name would remain iconic in American pop culture. Jim Davis led a relatively private and grounded personal life, much in contrast to the larger-than-life characters he portrayed on screen. Born and raised in Missouri, Davis carried his Midwest values throughout his life, displaying traits of loyalty, hard work, and humility that endeared him to those who knew him personally. Davis married Blanche Hammerer in 1945, and their union lasted until his death in 1981. Their relationship was one of stability and devotion, a rare and admirable quality in the often tumultuous world of Hollywood. Blanche remained by Jim's side through the ups and downs of his acting career, supporting him during the years when he was cast primarily in small roles in westerns. As his career began to soar in the late 1970s with his role in Dallas, Blanche continued to be his steadfast partner. The couple had one daughter, Tara Diane Davis, born in 1953. Jim Davis was known to be a family man, despite his demanding career always prioritizing time with his wife and daughter whenever possible. By all accounts, he was devoted to them, maintaining strong family values throughout his life. In a heartbreaking turn, Jim and Blanche's daughter, Tara Diane, tragically passed away in a car accident in 1970 at just 17 years old. This loss profoundly affected Davis, and by many accounts, 
It was the deepest personal tragedy of his life. The death of his daughter was something from which Davis never fully recovered, although he rarely spoke publicly about it. Those close to him said that he channeled his grief into his work, which took on a new depth in the years that followed. His stoic and strong demeanor, often mirrored in his roles, likely reflected his internal struggles after Tara's passing. Though Jim Davis kept his personal life largely out of the spotlight, he formed close bonds with many of his co-stars and colleagues in Hollywood. He was well regarded for his professionalism on set and his willingness to help younger actors. On Dallas, his castmates often praised his leadership and humility, which helped set a positive tone on set. His down-to-earth personality made him easy to work with, and he earned the respect of the show's creators and producers, who appreciated his experience and dedication. Larry Hagman, who played Davis's on-screen son, J.R. Ewing, shared a particularly strong bond with him. Hagman later reflected on how Davis had become a mentor figure during the early seasons of Dallas. Their on-screen dynamic as father and son mirrored some of the respect and admiration they held for each other off-screen. Despite his success, Davis abstained from the glamorous Hollywood lifestyle, preferring instead a more modest and low-key existence. His Midwestern upbringing seemed to keep him grounded, and he avoided the scandal and drama that often surrounded celebrities of his era. Instead of lavish parties or high-profile events, Davis preferred spending time at home or enjoying the simple pleasures of life, such as horseback riding and outdoor activities. In interviews, Davis rarely delved into his personal affairs, focusing instead on his work and expressing gratitude for the opportunities he had in Hollywood. His long-lasting marriage and solid reputation as a hard worker reflected his commitment to a life of stability and integrity. Jim Davis's personal life reflected the values of loyalty, perseverance, and love for his family. His ability to balance a demanding career with a private, steady personal life was a hallmark of his character, and it earned him the respect of colleagues, friends, and fans alike. Even after his passing, those who worked with him fondly remembered his generosity, humility, and dedication to both his craft and his loved ones. One of Davis's earliest career highlights came with the Emmy Award recognition for Stories of the Century, the first television series in the Western genre to win an Emmy. Davis starred as Matt Clark, a railroad detective who pursued famous outlaws of the Wild West. Though the Emmy Award for Best Western or Adventure Series went to the show itself, and not specifically to Davis, his lead role in the series was instrumental in its success. This marked a significant achievement for him as an actor, establishing him as a prominent figure in the Western television genre during the 1950s. Another notable recognition for Davis's long career came posthumously when he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Though it is not one of the more widely discussed elements of his legacy, this recognition serves as a reminder of his contribution to television and film over four decades. A Walk of Fame star is a lasting tribute to the longevity and impact of his career, ensuring that his name remains a permanent fixture in Hollywood's history. Dallas is one of the most iconic television shows in American history, revolutionizing the genre of primetime soap operas with its mix of family drama, corporate intrigue, and larger-than-life characters. Created by David Jacobs, Dallas originally aired on CBS from April 2, 1978 to May 3, 1991, for a total of 14 seasons and 357 episodes. The show was set in the world of Texas oil tycoons, focusing on the wealthy and powerful Ewing family and their inter-family rivalries, business dealings, and personal drama. Dallas began as a five-part miniseries in 1978, but its success led CBS to expand it into a full series. The show centered on the Ewing family, led by patriarch Jock Ewing, played by Jim Davis, and his wife Miss Ellie, played by Barbara Bel Geddes. At the heart of the show was the rivalry between their two sons, J.R. Ewing, the scheming, ruthless oil baron, and Bobby Ewing, the more principled, good-natured brother. This rivalry drove much of the show's early tension and drama, setting up a battle between family loyalty and corporate ambition. Dallas distinguished itself from other shows of its time by exploring complex themes like power, greed, betrayal, and moral conflict. 
The Ewings were not only caught in personal battles with one another, but also in larger corporate struggles for control of Ewing oil. Much of the show's drama revolved around J.R. quote, S. ruthless manipulation and willingness to do whatever it took to gain the upper hand in business and his personal life. He became one of television's most iconic villains, known for his cutthroat tactics and iconic catchphrase, you can't fire me, I'm J.R. Ewing. The show was also famous for its shocking cliffhangers and dramatic twists, keeping viewers eagerly awaiting the next season. The most famous of these was the Who Shot J.R. cliffhanger in the season three finale, A House Divided, in 1980. J.R. had made many enemies throughout the series, and his shooting sparked a national frenzy of speculation about the identity of the shooter. The resolution, revealed in the season four episode, Who Done It, was watched by over 83 million Americans, making it one of the most watched television episodes in history. Jim Davis's portrayal of Jock Ewing, the patriarch of the Ewing family, was integral to the early success of the series. Jock was a tough, no-nonsense oil man who built the Ewing family empire from the ground up. He represented the old-school, hard-working American ideal, and though he was often seen as a fair man, he was not above using force or manipulation to maintain control of his business. Jock's character provided a moral center in the early seasons, balancing out the more extreme behavior of characters like J.R. Davis's performance earned him great respect from his co-stars, and Jock's influence on the Ewing family dynamic was a key plot driver until Davis's passing in 1981. The impact of Jock's death reverberated through the series, leading to further conflict among the Ewing family members as they fought to fill the power vacuum he left behind. Dallas became a cultural phenomenon both in the United States and internationally. It was one of the first American series to be exported to more than 90 countries, and it developed a massive following worldwide. The show is often credited with popularizing the primetime soap opera genre, paving the way for other series like Dynasty and Falcon Crest. Its dramatic storylines, glamorous setting, and exploration of the dark side of wealth resonated with audiences, who became invested in the Ewing's lives over the course of its 14 seasons. The show's success also extended to its iconic opening theme, composed by Gerald Immel, which became instantly recognizable with its sweeping aerial shots of Dallas, Texas, and the vast Ewing Ranch, South Fork. The show further cemented its place in pop culture with its accurate depiction of Texas wealth. Luxury, oil fields, and high-stakes business deals all became synonymous with the image of Dallas. Dallas received numerous accolades over its long run. Though it was primarily viewed as a commercial success rather than a critical favorite, it was nominated for four Primetime Emmy Awards, winning for Outstanding Art Direction in 1980. Barbara Bel Geddes won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series Drama in 1982, highlighting the show's popularity and its ability to attract critical attention. Larry Hagman, who played J.R. Ewing, became one of television's most famous actors due to his iconic portrayal of the villainous oil man. His character became so ingrained in popular culture that J.R. continued to be a reference point in media discussions about morally ambiguous characters. After the original Dallas ended in 1991, the show's legacy continued through a series of TV movies and miniseries, including Dallas J.R. Returns in 1996 and Dallas War of the Ewings in 1998. In 2012, a reboot series aired on TNT, bringing back some of the original cast members, including Larry Hagman, Patrick Duffy, and Linda Gray. The reboot focused on a new generation of Ewings while continuing to explore the long-standing conflicts between J.R. and Bobby. Even decades after it first premiered, Dallas remains a defining show in the history of American television. Its exploration of power, family dynamics, and the complexities of wealth influenced many dramas that followed. The show's iconic characters and unforgettable storylines, particularly the rivalry between J.R. and Bobby, continue to resonate with audiences and are frequently referenced in discussions about TV's greatest shows.